My, uh, my sister just had a baby. My sister had a baby to try to save the relationship. But I still don't talk to her. Guys, this is gonna take forever. Um, <laughs> life can be funny sometimes, right? Like, I can't get into details right now. But earlier this week, I received the single greatest phone call of my life. And then just five minutes later, I got another call telling me that my dad is in the hospital. I said, yeah, I just heard. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression, you know? I didn't hate my father. My father wasn't a bad guy. For instance, I never once, not once, not ever, ever, saw my dad hit my mother. I mean, he was quick, and you can't... <laughs> can... You can't teach speed, that comes from him. I remember when I was 13, my mom got diagnosed with Parkinson's, and my dad just gave up immediately. Said, I can't deal with this, I can't live like this, and packed up his car. So as a 13-year-old boy, I had to be the one to roll up my sleeves and say, okay, guess I'm going with dad. <laughs> Sounds like mom needs some alone time. <laughs> and I think like a, lot of, like a lot of guys, I'll never forget the one time I saw my dad's penis. <laughs> I said, dad, don't text me shit like that. <laughs> When I was a kid, my family used to move around a lot. <clears throat> but now they're all fat as fuck. <laughs> to give you an idea, to give you all an idea of how crazy my family is, I'm not even the biggest asshole in my own family. <laughs> I had this cousin. Everybody hated this cousin. My own family hated this cousin. And then a couple of years ago, my cousin fell off of a horse and broke his neck. We all refer to that as the Superman incident. <laughs> Because that horse is a hero. <laughs> 